lot of products today. This is going to be my very first empties video and I've been saving these products for a very, very, very long time. But I wanted to give you real products that I just didn't like squeeze out and really use. Come on, so let's just go ahead and get started. I have some back to Mac items and some beauty products. So we're going to go ahead and start off with beauty products. And I just put them in this Sephora bag because it is what it is. So the first thing, I forgot what's all in here. So we're just going to pull stuff out and let's get started. It is the, hmm, Soap and Glory Righteous, the Righteous Butter. Looks like this. I don't know if you guys remember the, um, the lotion that was in the 100 points, but this is basically it in the jar. I freaking love this freaking lotion. This right here will have you so moisturized all day, and I just love it, and it smells so good. So I am going to go get some more of this stuff, but it ain't cheap. It's about $22 for this, so yeah. Next thing I want to talk about is the seaweed, the Body Shop Seaweed Clarifying Toner. Looks like that. Um... And I showed this in my skincare video. I really do like this toner. I don't think I'm going to go back and get it just because I there are a lot of toners out there in the world. And I feel like you should never just use one toner because, I don't know. I just feel like I could just use a lot of different other toners. So I don't want to use this one. But it was a good one. It is a good one. If you are in the body shop, you should just go ahead and get it if you haven't tried it. The Dr. Bronner's Soaps. And this one is... The Citrus Orange. Now, I really love this smell. It smells really, really nice. Um, I use this to bathe in the shower and wash my face and all that kind of stuff. It's really good for that. This is the big one. It was about 17 bucks. But, as you know, I already like the Dr. Broner soaps. I already have a video on the soaps, how I felt, my initial review on this and everything. But, if you don't know about Dr. Broner's, you may want to check it. It's really good for your private parts and all of that because it gets everything super clean. And just a little background, it's 18 in 1, so you can use it for 18 different things, but you can actually use it for a ton of different things. This thing right here is universal. You can clean with it, wash clothes, wash your dishes, wash your hair, put it on your face, wash your body. Like, like I said, there's a lot of things you can do with this soap. So if you are looking for a new soap and you haven't tried Dr. Bronner's, you should freaking do it. And I have the lavender as well. Now this, the lavender one was of course cheaper because it's smaller and you can find these at Walgreens. Alright, the next thing I got is a set of fill and this is the daily facial cleanser. I really love this stuff. Um, I am using other cleansers right now, but I think this is something I would come back to when I was having trouble with my skin. I went to the Cetaphil and it worked wonders. Along with my Clarisonic, like, it is perfect. And you always want to make sure you get the normal to oily skin. Even if you have sensitive skin, they say the sensitive skin one sucks. So, I recommend you going out and getting this if you're having problems with your skin. Um, but it's really, really good. It's really... I think it's, yeah, dermatology recommended and all that good stuff, non-irritating. So, if you have trouble with skin, then I recommend getting some of this stuff. Duh. This is the Mary Kay Normal to Oily Skin Oil-Free Hydrating Gel. And it has a really nice, clean scent. I haven't been able to find this. If you know where I can find this, I would love to get some more. It's a cream type of moisturizer it's like a gel so I really like this It's I don't know it's perfect for people with oily skin this is perfect any gel type of moisturizer will be perfect for you and I just think this was a really good one so yeah the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the Maybelline define the brow now I had this for a long time now and I thought I would like it but honestly I didn't um, I don't know, it was just a, a brown pencil to me, so I didn't see any hype in this, so I will not be repurchasing this, but you can get it from the drugstore, so if you were looking for something just like on a whim, I do recommend going in and get it, but... Alright, the next thing I want to talk about is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I've used, already repurchased this, so I love it. It has a pump, which was really nice, and I don't know. It's just something that you would like to have in your makeup collection, especially for the spring and summertime. It 
is everything. So I do recommend you getting this, especially if you don't have much to cover. This will be so perfect for you. And this is literally one of my all-time favorites. This is the Shea, but, um, Shea Sugar Body Scrub. And this one's in the Tropical Mango. I already have another one in my shower. I've repurchased this about 20 times already. So I am in love with these scrubs. Basically, it's just a humongous body scrub um for your whole body and they smell so good they're sugar scrub i really like this scrub i thought it was amaze balls it just really deep cleaned my body and had me feeling nice and soft so if you're looking for a body scrub you need to try the tree hut line because it is phenomenal okay guys so now on to the Back to Mac items. Now I don't have many because I haven't back to Mac it, so I don't have six yet. I'm waiting on one more. Um, the first one is the Pro Long Wear uh, SPF 10 foundation, and it looks like this. It actually doesn't look like this. This isn't the top. This is the Estee Lauder top. But um, yeah, guys, I love this foundation. I think I have another one. No, I have a Pro Long Wear, um, not the one with the SPF. So I I repurchased this though a million times so I do like this foundation the next one that I have is the select SPF 15 foundation um and this one was in the a um the shade NC 50 the first one's in NC 50 and this one was in NC 50 as well and then I have a Mac fix plus now I am in love with Mac fix plus I do already have another one of these so if you haven't tried it, I say give it a go. Just a finishing spray, not really a setting spray, just like a finishing spray. If you want to add like that kind of a little bit of glow to your skin, I definitely recommend you setting your makeup with the Fix Plus instead of like a setting spray. And two other things, really haven't ran out, but I'm back to macking it. Um, I have the Blush Love thing and the Blush Amber Rose. So I already depotted these and put them into my mac palette so i'm going to be back to macing these so that's pretty much it for all of my empties guys so i hope you guys like it if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll try to save all of the other things that i may have and i may want to um throw away but i will keep them if you like this video so i hope you guys have a great weekend and i'll see you guys in my next video bye